What's up everybody? I just wanted to quickly show you how to use the Rode Smart Lav Plus with an Android device. Um, since they don't have the Rode Record app out yet for Android, you have to use a third-party app. I'll be using a Record Forge 2. Um, there's all kinds of settings within this. Um, if I click here, you can record in WAV, MP3, got all kinds of different formats here. Um, you can choose between mono and stereo. I mean, there's just a lot of different uh, options here for you under this. Down here, automatically switch to wave view while recording. Um, preview mode just obviously previews the recording before it actually starts recording. Um, I'll push play. It now starts previewing my audio. And now here when I push the check mark, now it's recording with the Rode Smart Lav Plus. Um, down here where it says negative 2 dB, you can adjust that gain accordingly to how uh, you want the audio to be. If you need it a little bit louder, go up here to plus 5, negative uh, 2. Sounds about right for me while I'm recording, um, especially after it's processed. It sounds really good. Um, if I go down here to this settings, we've got all kinds of settings here where we can do time stretches where you can adjust the tempo and the pitch. Um, loop selection, skip silence. Will ba it's basically if you're doing interviews, um, you can go from anywhere from zero to 10 seconds and it will record and stop recording um, based on noise detection. So. For instance, if I had it set to two seconds, it'll start recording two seconds before I start speaking, and then it'll stop recording two seconds after I stop speaking, which is very useful um, if you're doing like a lot of little interviews and stuff and you don't need big files. Um, you can set a recording time, you can schedule recordings with this. Um, here, if I go into my files, um, you can see the different files that I've got here, and still over here on the, on the sidebar, you can see uh, the levels that I'm recording at right now. And if I click and hold a file, you can see that I can uh, send it right to Dropbox. I can edit it, delete it. Um, if I click the share button, we've got all kinds of things. We've got Bluetooth, um, email, Drive, Gmail, Pogo Plug, SoundCloud, ICQ, um, all kinds of different settings. Um, click this over here, and we can set it as a ringtone, copy, edit, um, all kinds of different uh, things within this. Um, now let me show you back here. Let me... Uh, let's see get out of that go back into my audio here now when I stop recording there we go it'll stop recording and it'll give me the option now I can play it back um, obviously I'd have to unplug the microphone to hear it um, when you push the X again now it automatically pops up uh, in your folder and once again I can click it hold it upload it right to my Dropbox and uh, download it on my computer and edit away and I'm good to go so um, there you guys go if you have any questions leave them down below if this video helps you out give me a thumbs up and subscribe See you guys later.